iMovie titles actually give you a lot to work with out of the box, but there is one big limitation with iMovie titles that's been frustrating creators for years. You cannot turn off or remove the fades or animations that come with an iMovie title. Still. Sometimes you just want to use a static title in your video, but you can't in iMovie. Oh, you can try cutting off the animations at the start and end of a title clip, but it won't work. The animation will just regenerate itself like a sci-fi movie monster. However, there is a way around this iMovie title limitation, and it does not require Apple Keynote or any other outside software. It can be done right inside of iMovie, and it takes under 60 seconds. I'll show you. And I'll also show you a couple of easy ways to spice up your newly minted static iMovie title. Let's jump in. So here we are in iMovie, and this is iMovie version 10.4.3 for your reference. And I have this project open. I have this clip of stock footage on the timeline. So let's say this clip is going to be the opening shot of my video, and I want to put the title of the show over top of it. Well, to do that, I'm going to go up to the menu on top of the media browser and select Titles. And here is iMovie's collection of stock titles. You can preview the titles by just scrubbing over them in the browser, and you get a preview in the viewer over here, which is handy. And you can see we have a variety of titles that use a variety of animations and effects and fades that, unfortunately, you're stuck with. So for my video, I'm going to select the line title template. Now you can add a title to the timeline by simply dragging and dropping it where you want, or you can double click your title in the browser and it'll appear on the timeline at the location of the playhead. And there is my title clip overlaid on my footage. And you can see the title settings opened up automatically over here in the viewer. Now if I click off the title, and lose the settings for some reason, I can just double click the title clip on the timeline to bring up the settings again. I'm going to edit the text in my title by selecting this first line and then typing in some new text. Then I'll hit the tab key on my keyboard to go to the next line of text and I'll replace that. Now you notice how the font dynamically changed as I typed? That's because of this auto setting in the font size menu up here. The auto font size option dynamically adjusts the text size to fit within the layout of the specific title template that you're using. But you can choose a different font size from this menu, or you can manually enter a custom font size by selecting this field at the top here and typing in your new size. All right, I'm going to leave the font size at auto. So quickly looking at these other settings, I can change the font of my title using this font menu. I'm just going to leave it as is. There's also alignment controls, left, center, right, and no alignment. And over on the right here, we can bold, italicize, and outline the text. I'm just going to leave it bold for this. I think that'll work well. And if I select this color chip, I get the color picker, and I can change the color of the title text if I want to. I'm just going to leave it white as is. I'm going to lock in my title by selecting the blue check mark over here. All right, I'll preview the timeline to see what things look like. And you can see the title has this line animation first, and then the first line of text fades on, followed by the second line, and then the whole thing fades off. Now that actually works fairly well in this context. But what if I just wanted to use the title just static without the fades or animations? Maybe I want the title to cut on screen for dramatic effect, or maybe I want to time the title entrance with a beat or a sting in the opening music. Well, I can't do that with this title as is. If I go to the spot in the clip where the title has resolved, where it's fully on screen, and try to split off the front where all the animation is doesn't work. Animations and fades just regenerate. However, there is a way to create a static version of this title. Let me show you. First thing I'm going to do is go to the menu above the browser and select backgrounds. 
And then from the backgrounds collection, I'm going to select green and drag it onto the timeline right after the stock footage clip. Next thing I'm going to do is select my title clip. And while holding down the Option key on my keyboard, I'm going to click and drag out a copy of my title clip and place it over top of the green background. Then I'm going to scrub through this copy of my title clip until I get to a spot where the title has finished animating and the whole thing is on screen. Right about there looks good. All right, I'm going to click to place the playhead at that spot. Now, I'm going to go up to iMovie's top menu and select File, Share, Image. That is going to take the frame that the playhead is parked on and export it as an image file. Now, you can do the same thing by going way over to the top right of the interface and selecting the Share button and from the menu selecting Save Current Frame. And you get a Save dialog where you can name and save out the exported image to the location of your choice. Now, one thing about this image, the exported image is a JPEG file that is the same resolution as your iMovie project. So, if your project is 1080p, the JPEG image will be 1920 by 1080. If your project is 4K, like mine, the image will be 3840 by 2160, 4K resolution. All right, I'll hit Save, and the image is exported. Okay, I'm going to switch back over to the media browser here, and I'm just going to bring up the Finder and go to the location where I saved out that image. And here it is. And I'll just drag and drop the exported image into the Clips event of my project. And it comes in as an image or photo in the media browser, as you can see by the camera icon in the top left corner. Now I'm just going to drag it on top of the footage on the main timeline. I'm just going to make a little bit of room here for things. OK, I'm going to play back. And there it is, our static image. But it's on a green background, not what we're looking for. Now, if your image is moving or if it's zooming, when you bring it in, you most likely have the Ken Burns effect applied to it, which happens to photos automatically by default. So just go up and select the cropping button and make sure the cropping settings are set to crop to fill and not Ken Burns. All right, I'll close the cropping settings. All right, we need to get rid of this green background in our title image. So to do that, with the title image clip on the timeline still selected, I'll go up to the toolbar above the viewer and open the video overlay settings. And from the overlay settings menu over here, I'll select green blue screen. And the green background has turned transparent. It's gone. We've keyed it out. I'll click the little blue arrow over here to apply the green screen settings. And now when I play back, you can see we have a very nice looking static title that just cuts on and off. But we can still add some pizzazz if we want to. Maybe you find the cutting on and off a little too abrupt. Well, you can add a fade on and off to the title by just selecting the title image clip on the timeline and clicking and dragging on these little blue fade handles. I'm going to make this fade around half a second. Let's play back. Ooh, that's classy. Now we can take things a step further by animating the title image. So making sure the title image clip is selected in the timeline, I'll go back up to the toolbar and open the cropping settings, and I'll change it from Crop to Fill to Ken Burns. And there are my starting and ending frames for the Ken Burns zoom animation. I'll just adjust the ending frame so that it zooms in a little bit more on the title. Now I'm going to need to get rid of the fades on the clip for now so I can see the last frame of the title so I can line things up. All right, I'll click the blue check mark to apply the settings. 
and then I'll go back and apply my fades again and I'll play back. So even though this title is static, we can still make it dynamic if we want to. I'm going to play back the timeline full screen by using the keyboard shortcut Shift Command F. Now you want to make sure your title is the size and in the position that you want it before you set it on the green background and export it as an image. You won't be able to resize it or reposition it very well when you use it as a green screen overlay clip. The overlay track in iMovie can only do one function at a time. It's going to be green screen or it's going to be picture in picture, not both. Now, if you like advanced iMovie techniques like this, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more. And don't forget to give this video a like. It really does help the channel. And drop a comment telling me what iMovie limitation is driving you crazy. And I'll see if I can solve it in an upcoming video. Unless, of course, I already have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.